Alright guys and welcome back to The Saints View, the channel for something content for our predicted lineup for tomorrow's huge, huge game down at Fratton Park. It is the return of the South Coast Derby in the third round of the Carabao Cup. This is a team we think will be starting against Skates. Let's go for it. Now in goal I think it will be Angus Gunn. Alex McCarthy did start against Fulham but I can see Gunn keeping his place. He's been good overall so far in the league. I think fewer changes may actually be a good thing. I'd be happy to see McCarthy start but yeah, I think we'll see Gunn. At right back, I think it's going to be Cedric. Valerie's young and naive. I really don't think it'd be wise to start him. Cedric's been good for us as well in the last couple of games, so I really don't see the point in changing that. And I think Hazen Hittel likes him. You know, I think Cedric is now our first choice right back, and he's a bit more of an experienced head. So you know, I'd be a lot more comfortable with having him at right back in this game. And I think Hazen Hittel will know that. Now in the centre back pairing, I'd like to see Mayo Shida and Jan Bednarek. Vestgaard was rotated in the last round against Fulham. And I think that's what's going to happen again. Again, he's been okay in the league, but I think we need an experienced player, Mario Yoshida, and of course he will know what this game means. He may not have played in the South Coast Derby, but he only joined a couple of months after the last time we played them, so he's been here for long enough to know what the game means. As for Benrek, I think he's been good in the league. He's probably our best defender, so it just makes sense to have him in there and I think Hazen Little will see Vestgaard as the one to take out. At left back I think it'll be Ryan Bertrand. Now Danzo is awful against Bournemouth but he wasn't playing in his natural position which is the problem also he's young naive I really don't think it'd be wise to play him Bertrand on the other hand is old and more experienced he's been at the club for long enough to also know what the game means and I feel a lot more comfortable with him playing and when he came on against Bournemouth he looked all right and so I don't really know what has happened between him and Hazen Hittel but grudges aside I think Hazen Hittel will obviously see him as the better choice and put him there at left back. Now in defensive midfield, absolute no-brainer. Stick with what we've been playing the whole time, Romeo and Hoiberg. I think at the moment, Romeo is probably the first name on the team sheet. Excellent against Bournemouth once again, and he will be winning all those balls, hopefully, in the middle of the park against Portsmouth. Of course, his discipline isn't great. I can definitely see him picking up a yellow card. As for Hoiberg, he's our captain. He kind of needs to be on the pitch, but he can do a lot better than what he's been doing at the moment. Having said that, there's not really anyone besides those two who can play there. I think Hasenut has got his hands tied, and it's not the worst partnership to have in defence midfield when both are on form. Now, in front of them, I think it's going to be Warprouse, Buffal, and Redmond. Warprouse, you know, whatever you want to say about him maybe needs to be dropped because he hasn't been that good so far in the league he deserves to play in this game he's waited long enough he understands what it means to play in this game and I'm sure he'll get a very good reception on Tuesday night being from Portsmouth but no, I don't really think we've got another option in all honesty I think it makes sense to have him there with Buffal I think it's a case of obviously he's got a lot of quality and he could really tear that league one defence apart you could possibly say Gineppo will play instead of him but I think it's going to be a case of Gineppo is a bit younger and a bit more naive. He's looked exposed at times when he's had to defend. So I think maybe Buffal would be the better shout. And then Redmond, no-brainer, our best attacking player. He has to be playing. He started against Bournemouth, so he's definitely fit. Like Buffal, he could easily tear apart their defence if he's on form. And finally, up front, I think it'll be Danny Ings. Hazen to rotate the striker against Fulham in the last round. And that was what Bifemi came in. He scored. And I don't think Adams will be playing in this one. You know, he's a bit younger. He's played in derbies before. He's played in the Second City derby. But I think it just makes a bit more sense to play Ings. Obviously, he's from the area as well. He knows what the derby means. He'll want to play for Southampton in the South Coast derby as a kid. He'll definitely want to be playing in that game and definitely score at Fratton Park. What a dream that would be for him being a Southampton fan. And at the end of the day, I think he's one of the few players who actually could come in for this one and with a good performance could start against Spurs in the league on Saturday. So we'll see what happens there. But I'd be playing Danny Ings and I think Harzen will rotate to the striker. And, and then so it seems that Ings is the obvious shout. That is it, guys. That is our predicted lineup. Let us know yours in the comment section below. If you have enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a like. Subscribe if you're new. It's almost here. Tomorrow is the South Coast Derby. We will be there. Match experience should be coming out for that. And so, yeah, enjoy yourselves. Take it easy. Let us know also if you're going to the game on Tuesday. See you there.